Hey YouTube. So I'm showing you my first, second, and latest setup. So for the first one, I basically just had a twin size bed, a mattress on the ground, and I used three bags to hold all of my stuff, which was basically clothes, food, and hygiene. That that was it. <laughs> Those are the bags right there. So I was being very minimalistic. I had quite a bit of space still, um, but you know later, and you'll see on my next, um, my next what's it called? My next setup, you'll see that I added a lot more stuff. This setup right here. This is my second setup. So I added a lot more stuff. So I added a poop bucket, well, a bathroom bucket. Sorry. And I added a little bit more uh, different bags for different things. This is my laundry bag I had for my uh, my pillowcase. I, I, I decided to hang my clothes instead of put them in bags. But this is the setup. In the back, this is, you know, just tubs and milk carts or crates, sorry. But now it's time for my latest setup, my new setup. This is what it looks like from the inside. I know it's a little messy right now. But, so, I'm going to clean this up, and I'll show y'all. Okay, so this is the space we're working with. So, I just put everything to the side, clean things up a bit, put my curtains up. But, so, I saw a YouTube video, and I'm going to show you a screenshot of her channel. And, uh, so, she said that... Where the doors are, is is the van goes wider. Does that make sense? The van is wider where the doors are. So, oh, sorry y'all, I'm out of breath. So, because I was going to put the bed sideways in the back. But that would have been, like, not enough room. You know what I'm saying? So, I was either thinking, maybe we can put, like, uh, what's it called? some type of shelving to where it goes up to where this part right here the where the cup holders are because it goes wider you know and uh I, of course i'll take that out and stuff so so my feet could go there but i think maybe i, c I should try up here first and see how that works because really i'm trying to I'm trying to get the most, the more, the most bang out of my buck uh, as far as room space goes. So, I don't know. Because, see, I've got quite a bit of room in here. But I just need to see my bed set up. That's what I'm trying to change. Because, as you saw as the other clips, my bed took this whole entire space right here. And I just had this itty bitty space like this this much and that was a twin size mattress and I just I don't like that so I want to just use like one side as my bed and then so I can have like a living space you know you guys it fits perfectly oh my goodness I'm so happy I know it doesn't sound like it oh my gosh I'm like out of breath and it's so cold outside it's like the snow is crazy but uh so what I did was I cut half Half of one of these squares for the trifold. There's three of them. Trifold. So I cut cut that in half. And I fit perfectly right there. So. And it fits perfectly. From there. To there. Amazing. I love that. So. I don't know if. I want to. Hmm. I don't know if I want to put a frame under. Maybe use some like those plastic shelves. So I'm lifted, so I have storage under, but I don't know if it will do something because this goes inwards. You see that? It goes inwards on both sides. Well, I can just move it this way, <laughs> and now I have room. <laughs> uh, problem solved. There we go. Goodness gracious. But you see what I'm saying? Where the doors are, it's a lot more space, and it goes in right there. Oh, excuse me. It goes in right there. And I don't have as much space right here. 
So, I really like the bed right here. If I'm being frank with you, if I'm being honest. Sorry, my table fell. But look how much room I have. Look how much room I have. That's a lot of room. I'm very pleased with this setup. This is how far it is from the door. The door comes like right here. Or maybe right here. And so you have like a inch or two space. Right there, it's all the way to the door. So, sweet. Now, I have room here too. I could put stuff. Maybe build a frame. Yeah, get shelves, build a frame. Maybe cut them down to make them smaller, shorter. And then I have all this space right here. I'm thinking about, see, that's a table right there. So I'm thinking of opening the table um, towards the back. So I have, you know, the sunlight from the window. And, hmm, it's all, it's not a game. What am I thinking of? It's all a uh, trial and error. There we go. It's all trial and error, you know? I've had like three setups so, so far, but I really do like this one. Yeah, I really do like this one. So these are the bed frames that I had in my van and we're replacing it with these bad boys. Let me flip you upside down. They're plastic shelves. So this is a better shot of what it looks like. The hyper tough four shelf plastic shelving unit. And it holds up to 60 pounds. It was, where's this yet? This is how much it costs. Each one, we have got two of these things, the tubs. Each one was $29.67. Plus for six bucks, we got this little liner thing um, to put on top of it. And it's because this is very smooth, right? So we don't want the, the mattress to go everywhere. We don't want it to slide everywhere. So it is 20 inches by six foot. So six foot of this little grip, grip stuff that we'll put on top. All right, so we put the shelves in and now I'm just, you know, setting it all up about to put the mattress on top. And I'm not gonna like, I'm not showing you my actual setup cause I haven't figured it out yet, but I'm just showing you like, the process of finding out my setup, my new setup, if that makes sense. Two packages of the shelves, the plastic shelves were perfect. So you could split it two and two, so four, and it was perfect for the length of the bed. So this is the little vinyl, the non-slip thing that I got. And uh, so I'm putting that on top or under the mattress on top of the shelves and it works really good it works really good i'm surprised now i'm setting up my table that i use for my art setting it up and it's cool because i got this at walmart and you can put it on different heights i think the table was like 20 dollars, maybe closer to 30 i'm not too sure but yeah for sure i like this little setup that i've got going on and the next video I post, I'll show you guys the setup whenever it's all finished, for the most part. Because I still feel like I need to cut the, the shelves, but we'll see. Looking good. I'll see y'all in the next one. Subscribe.